talking about Supreme, um, this has gone kind of viral on my side of the internet. Somebody leaked a supposed cancelled so far. It's rumoured cancelled, but it's probably will end up getting pushed out and released sometime soon. But it looks like Balenciaga were en route to be collaborating with Supreme and most likely would have got dropped around this time. So there was a plan in place to have Balenciaga collaborate with Supreme, but obviously Balenciaga went and shit the bed and started promoting those BDSM bears with literal children. Everyone kind of threw a bit of a hissy fit and started labeling them as a flipping, you know, reincarnation of Satan himself. And Balenciaga got canceled for a few months. So they kind of shelve it. But this is the supposed leaked images of some of the stuff that they were kind of working on. And from what I've read online, it's not canceled. It probably is still in the works. It probably is still kind of due to be released sometime soon. But they probably wanted all the, you know, attention to kind of die down before they brought it back up again. But from what we see so far, it's kind of relating back to the mud show thing they had with Kanye. That show that Kanye walked, that was a mud show. So there's a lot of kind of stained tops and whatnot. But I do love the long sleeve with Supreme on the box logo. Um, you've got some nice bags here, some nice chinos. You've got these crazy, really long boots. But just imagine, you know, the most, I think, you know, probably the most like legit streetwear brand of all time or skateboarding brand in terms of Supreme linking up with, you know, real agents of chaos when it comes to Demno and what he's doing over there at Balenciaga, just a general fashion crowd. It's definitely an unexpected collaboration. I could say that, but I do like it um you've got some nice uh you got what you what i would call like a really nice parker because i feel like demon doesn't get a lot of credit for his parkers i think the parkers look really really amazing especially this black one here on the left and it's cinched in and you've got these crazy excessive boots again and then you've got this which i think is really amazing piece here you've got an ma1 that's made out of leather you know that i love this i love this ma1 that's made out of leather a completely leather MA1, which is absolutely beautiful. It looks like the inside of the lining has also been made in leather. And then what they've done here, which I like, is that they've turned the shopping bags into essentially, you know, the designer luxury bags that they have. They have those kind of trash bags that they do. And if you know anything about Supreme, you know, a lot of people, especially back in the day, I'm not sure if it's the same thing now, but I remember when I used to purchase it or when I used to first get Supreme in the early 2000s, the bags were really kind of covetable. People would legitimately sell the bags on eBay for like $30, $50 and shit, which is absolutely incredible. Like an actual carrier bag would be sold on eBay. Um, so it's pretty little clever spin that this Blanchard and Supreme collaboration, they turn these plastic bags into their own little things. So I'm assuming from what they've done previously, but then Shaga have a, they have their own bag that's like a trash bag. It looks like a trash bag, but it's made out of leather. It wouldn't surprise me if this was actually made out of leather. So it looks plastic. Um, this Supreme bag, like a white bag with a Supreme box logo, but it wouldn't surprise me if this was actually made out of leather. Um, the sweatpants I like as well because, you know, they don't have any elastic at the bottom. The jeans are not too fond of here. Um, you've got a nice flannel jacket. You've got a backpack that they put together. And then you've got another top here with a box logo that says Balenciaga on it, which I love in the same, you know, Supreme font that you know and love also. Same with the hat. And again, you've got the bag, you've got the slippers, which are, which will definitely do numbers when they come out. You can see that happening. Again, that leather bag there, good jeans. Uh, you've got a Supreme New York Yankees bomber jacket, which looks really cool. And then the final pieces, which I think look really amazing, are these. Because these remind me of like that Cameron, these remind me a lot of Cameron and Dipset. You've got this really nice black and white camo. Um, you've got a piece top and bottom suit um, with the Supreme badge here. The top that looks flipping incredible. Um, the combat looks great. Look at the shape of those pants. So, so good. The front pocket placement is absolutely amazing. I love how they've been kind of aged and ripped up a little bit. And you've got the addition of these glasses also that I'm actually a big fan of. So it kind of, you know, a lot of kind of, Balenciaga greatest hits mix of the stuff that you know and love from Supreme. You got another box logo here that's been kind of exaggerated and blown up a little bit. But I think this collaboration will definitely do numbers when it comes out. So, so far it's kind of cancelled um, from what I've been reading online. But I have a feeling, um, judging by the reception, myself included, you know, the fanboys out there, um, they're going to see all the hype and the acceptance and people basically moved on for the BDSM thing and they're going to probably end up putting these back out again eventually. I think so. But I do like these. I think they look flipping incredible. I'm a big fan of this whole collection overall and I wear, wear this in a heartbeat, especially this outfit here. This is definitely my favourite. 
this kind of you know camo uh snow camo gray black and white whatever camo this is i absolutely love it really really do like that i think it looks absolutely incredible and um this parker jacket also here on the left hand side really really piques my interest and of course the sunglasses as well that they've added on there look really really incredible and i'm sure people would love this because this reminds me a little bit of that luebe jacket that everyone's going crazy for at the moment that puffer jacket piece everyone's kind of wearing um you know out there but yeah these look really cool can nice sort of flip and hopefully um them is about is basically it's basically um you know able to come back and do this again because i think when this drops this will do numbers and people will be definitely up for it so i'm up for it i'm up for it for sure